Oh, right now on the lineup, hitting the ground running. It is Mayor Sherelle Parker's first full day in office, but Philadelphia's newest leader is already taking action to address problems like safety and jobs. Two suspected armed robbers are under arrest after a police chase. How a little dog ended up leading to one man's capture. And moving into the future, it's a new day for hundreds of students going into this brand new school. Why the building is a milestone moment for the community. Those stories and more on today's edition of The Lineup. It's Wednesday, January 3rd, 2023. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Thanks for joining us. I'm NBC 10's Lucy Bustamante. And I'm NBC 10's Erin Coleman. Let's get you up to speed with what you need to know today, starting with a day of inaugural speeches and a late night party. <laughs> Philadelphia Mayor Sherelle Parker is wasting no time getting right to work. That's right. She's already made several executive moves, including one that's aimed at making the city safer, like so many people have pleaded for. NBC 10's Randy Gyllenhaal has a closer look at the start of her administration. Well, just hours after being sworn into office in her first act as mayor, Sherelle Parker said she would, quote, restore order to the city of Philadelphia after years of rising violent crime here, signing an executive order declaring the city is now under a public safety emergency. I, Sherelle Parker, with fidelity, congratulations. Parker becoming the city's 100th mayor yesterday, immediately focusing attention on Philadelphia's crime epidemic, directing police to shut down open-air drug markets in Kensington and to make plans to tackle issues like rogue ATVs on city streets, car thefts and shoplifting, while adding more community police officers to make a visible presence walking the beat in neighborhoods. Parker said this executive order would last for 100 days and then would be reevaluated after that, giving city agencies and the administration and police more time to come up with plans and then put them into action. On the Parkway, Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News. All right, thanks to Randy for that. And you can take a look at Mayor Parker's 100-day action plan on our website, NBC10.com, and the NBC10 app. There's also more on the Inauguration Day events, too. All right, so today marks the first full day on the job for a new Philadelphia police commissioner, Kevin Bethel. Yeah, Bethel was sworn in at Cornwell uh, Russell Middle School in Kensington yesterday afternoon. He has held multiple positions in almost 30 years with the Philadelphia Police Department before becoming the city's new top cop. The new commissioner let his fellow officers know his expectations. Your role in ensuring the safety of our communities is pivotal. You're not just enforcers of the law. You are the guardians of our community's well-being. Every day you put your badge on, not merely as a duty, but as a solemn vow to protect and serve. The commissioner says his strategy in policing will involve prevention, intervention, and enforcement. And now to Center City, where a police chase came to an end early, early this morning. The chase started in Upper Darby. It ended in Philly at 23rd and Market Streets. The suspect's car is this white SUV you're about to see. So we're told that two people inside of it were wanted for several robberies. And police tell us the SUV stopped there about 2.30 in the morning, and both men jumped out, started running away. They caught one of them about a block away, and then they arrested the other suspect when he went back to the SUV to get this little dog that was still inside mm. of it. Happening today, the new year brings a new chapter for hundreds of students in North Philadelphia. They are going to a brand new state-of-the-art elementary school. And NBC 10's Matt DeLucia has much more on this new start for the students. It is the first time these students are entering this new school, and it's something that students and staff say they desperately need it. TM Pierce School in North Philadelphia is pre-K through fifth grade. We were there for the ribbon cutting last month, and it's the first new public school building there in more than 70 years. It's a $33 million project, and Pierce is a school where the majority of students are black or brown, and where only 1% of kids are proficient in math, according to the school district. Uh, the principal, Anthony Gordon, has seen the old building that had lead and asbestos in it, uh, and he says that they moved buildings three times in the past three years. Now he's hoping this is the last move. It shows the community, it shows our children that we care and that we are invested in their future. Walking into the old Pierce, it's really dim and kind of dark. So just to come in and see all the colors and the lights and everything is really uplifting. And that teacher there says that she hopes with new supplies, new technology, that the students' scores will go up. So it is definitely a new beginning here for this new year 
uh, for about 500 students in North Philadelphia. In Spring Garden this morning, I'm Matt Delush, NBC 10 News. All right, thanks to Matt for that. All right, running out of steam. Does your energy for the day suddenly just stall in the afternoon? Still to come, why so many of us hit a wall halfway through the day. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in about 30 seconds. Here we go. Here I go again. Introducing the all-new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability, even when expenses aren't. Four dollars? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. All right, let's turn to a traffic alert now that could change your driving routine for years. So the Chestnut Street Bridge over I-95 in Columbus Boulevard at Penn's Landing, that is closing on January 15th. The bridge will not reopen for several years, actually. So the existing cover will be demolished as part of the I-95 CAP project, which connects Center City to the Delaware River waterfront. SEPTA bus routes to Penn's Landing will also be affected. All right, so do you find yourself hitting this wall in the afternoon? Absolutely. A new study conducted by One Poll takes a closer look at the afternoon slump, as it's called. It finds the average start time is 3 o'clock, with the loss of motivation lasting about 29 minutes or so. People who experience afternoon slumps say the top reasons are not enough caffeine, <laughs> boredom, and lack of energy. They try to snap out of it by taking a walk, eating, or taking a nap. It hits us about mm, a little earlier than that. An hour or so. <laughs> yeah, I'd say like 10 o'clock. Yes. You're hurts. like, uh. uh. With the new year here, businesses are assessing their holiday sales. And according to the experts, shoppers really showed up. Definitely. Sales rose about 3% year over year. But that rate was half of what it grew in 2022. For example, Cadence Cycling Centers in Maniac. The holiday season was very busy. But people there say that the retail sales in the cycling industry have been slower lately because there's plenty of inventory left over after the all-time high a few years ago because of COVID. So others are thrilled with the results of just the past few weeks. A lot of people that bought bikes during the pandemic did it for a little bit and they kind of put it down, like kind of like a, maybe like a gym membership kind of thing, you know, uh, only with an <laughs> expensive item. People were shopping. I always say our best week is the week of Christmas, but also the week before New Year's was pretty good. So in particular, people spent more on clothing and food this time, especially at restaurants, where spending was up nearly 8% from last year. I believe it. Yeah, everybody's looking for a good time I'm now. Looking for some eats. That's it. All right, let's turn now to your NBC 10 first alert weather. It has been a while, but yeah. you just might need to grab your shovel or your scraper this weekend. Oh. A winter storm could bring parts of our area the first real snowfall we've seen in nearly two years. Here in Roxborough, the owner of Stanley's Hardware says the storm means good business. Not too many people enjoy the snow. The hardware industry is one of them, along with I think the car, the car repair people, uh, and, and the tow and the tow guys and the plow guys. All right, so let's take you back a bit to January 29th, 2022. That's the last time we needed a shovel here in Philadelphia. We're about. Five inches fell. That was 704 days ago. I got to say, Tell me. my kids are dying They're aching for, for snow. They are dying. They're so excited. Even though it's not <laughs> going to come on the school day. Sure. They are so excited to be able to take out their sleds and, like, build a snowman, throw a snow, anything. Just with Down the driveway. Yes. There we go. Doesn't even matter how much you get. And it's so much better for parents anyway for it to hit over the weekend. So everybody can kind of have fun with it. Exactly. Hopefully it melts by Monday. And then you can you snuggle up, uh, you know, after yeah. afterward with a nice beverage. There you go. Let yeah. the afternoon slump hit you then. Yeah. All right. That does it for today's edition of The Lineup. For Lucy Bustamante, I'm Erin Coleman. Remember, you can get NBC10 news updates right here on the NBC10 app. And be sure to catch us weekday mornings from 4 to 7 a.m. Have a great day. Bye.